In the contemplative silence of spiritual discourse, a profound thought emerges. It whispers of a singular force, an originating essence from which all life unfurls, a life force so omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient that many have come to refer to it as God. This belief finds its roots in various mystical traditions as well as in modern spirituality where the essence of God is seen as a limitless source from which all of creation springs rather than as some archaic sky daddy. Among spiritual seekers, you'll find a narrative that to engage exclusively with this life force is to touch upon the only true form of spirituality. It is posited that when we align ourselves with this source of all life, we align with the very heartbeat of existence. By centering our devotion and spiritual practice around this universal life force, we may experience an awakening that is pure and uncluttered by the constructs and limitations of a multitude of spirits and deities. The benefits of such a single-pointed focus are certainly alluring. Clarity in meditation, unity of purpose and the direct experience of transcendental peace are often cited. Yet, such a perspective, while it has its merits, may not universally encompass the vast experiences and needs of all souls on their spiritual journey. In the dialogues of devotion and reverence, there's another voice to be heard, one that speaks to the mosaic beauty of forming relationships with gods and goddesses. These deities with their unique personalities, lessons and stories serve as accessible interfaces one might say personified aspects of the incomprehensible source. Their anthropomorphic traits provide us with a mirror to reflect upon our own humanity and through them we can navigate the complexities of our existence with greater ease and comfort. In the grand tapestry of monotheistic religions, the presence of revered prophets, saints, angels and spirit beings, though in service to the worship of the one God, illustrates a compelling parallel. These venerated figures may be seen as the spiritual lexicons through which the ineffable characteristics of the divine become comprehensible and relatable to the human experience. They act as intermediaries, each embodying a specific divine aspect or teaching, which allows the devotee to form a more personal connection with a singular Godhead. In a similar fashion to the polytheistic pantheons, they serve to articulate the manifold nature of the divine will and provide a multi-dimensional approach to understanding and worshipping the same ultimate source. This diversification within monotheism mirrors the human longing for an intimate and varied spiritual landscape, pointing to an innate desire to recognize the unity of the divine through the lens of diverse manifestations. Working with gods and goddesses can bring spirituality into the tangible realm. It allows for a practice where the practitioner can connect to different deities for different reasons, be it strength, compassion, wisdom or love. For many, these relationships culminate in a rich and varied tapestry of spiritual encounters, each thread representing a connection to a different aspect of the divine, but all converging to the same singular force. It is within this framework that the theme of oneness becomes not a mere abstraction, but a living, breathing reality. Just as we all lead distinct lives, with different paths and different beliefs yet remain intrinsically a part of the human family, so too can our relationships with a multiplicity of deities reflect the oneness inherent in all. Each goddess, each god, may be seen as a facet of the same jewel, different in appearance and function, yet made of the same stuff, each an expression of the source. And it's this understanding that can preserve the spirit of oneness even in the dynamic and vibrant landscape of polytheism. In conclusion, every deity we engage with and every form of worship we practice can be a bridge leading back to the oneness of the source of life. Embracing this truth in spirituality is like acknowledging the countless stars in the night sky each a unique world of fire and light, yet all part of the grand cosmos, a cosmos which, at its essence, is an undivided whole. Blessed be.